guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. So today, I wanna let you guys in on a little project that my uncle and I are gonna be doing here in the next couple weeks, and I've already kinda let some people know in any ways when it came to live chat. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Also, click that notification bell so you, you get that notification when we post our next video or we go live. So with that being said, this one-tenth scale garage that uh, my uncle and I are gonna be doing is a, uh, Hopefully in the next few weeks we'll have something kind of built up and maybe I'll see if I can get some pictures or a video of the construction of it. It would be kind of cool as well. So you guys can let me know in regards if you want to see the construction of it a little bit. Then I'll need to uh, you know, go over there and make sure I'm getting videos that what he's building. And because I already got plans, I already kind of have it all drawn out and then he finalized it more or less and uh, have made some tweaks to it, which is cool because it's going to make it look that much better. Now. With, the, come, with this one tenth scale comes tenth scale items to go inside the garage. So, um, I've always loved 3D printers. I love the idea, the concept of it, but I've never really found a use for it until now. Now, the price of them definitely come down quite a bit and they're still not perfect, but I think they're pretty good for what I'm gonna be doing with it anyhow, which, um, Maybe you guys already have a 3D printer. Maybe you're already using maybe some different resources as far as different websites that you go to or groups that you go to to get files or you share files. Maybe you already created some of them. Let's say, for instance, I don't know, a tool chest. So maybe you have a tool chest uh, design. Maybe you want to share it or something like that. Leave those comments down below. Let me know those communities or whatever. And uh, we'll do something on Friday too. We can talk a little bit more in regards to the uh, 3D printer and the 10 scale garage. Maybe you guys have some ideas as well. Maybe I'm not thinking of, but I'm looking at the Ender 3. I think it's their Pro 3 uh, 3D printer. And uh, you know, it comes in at under 250 bucks, which is cool because I don't want to spend a lot on this thing. And I'm going to get like PLA as far as the filaments or whatever you call it. Since I'm brand new, I don't know all the lingo to it. But I know you can use uh, ABS, PLA, and then there's like a flexible one too, which is kind of cool. You can print something out and it definitely has a little bit of um, rubber feel, whatever, flexible to it. Uh, because I was looking at the resin one and I do like the resin 3D printers. I just didn't like all the health concerns that might come with it. As far as all the nastiness, you know, chemicals and things like that. I was like, you know what? As much as I like the way they look on the at the very end of it, I don't like all of the... Uh, health concerns and the top, you know, as far as those chemicals you have to use to clean it all up. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the old regular plastic stuff, PLA stuff, and uh, go from there. So uh, leave those comments down below. Let me know what kind of printer you guys use. Uh, maybe you have certain, as far as PLA or that you use for what I'm looking for, you say, hey, yeah, you should use, you know, a different type uh, for doing those. Maybe it's gonna be a little bit finer and you don't really need it to be strong because it's just gonna be sitting there as just a little tool chest, you know? So, uh, but if you're doing like, oh, you want to do a, a car lift, you know, maybe use PLA, it's going to be stronger, it's going to be more rigid, and uh, that's what you'll want to use. So maybe go with PLA because you're going to be using a lot more of it. So if you use the small stuff, you're good to go, what have you. So I like the, the strength of PLA over some of the other ones. So just because it's real rigid. And it might be good for using it for a car lift or something like that. So I'd really like to have a car lift in there, maybe two of them. It'd be pretty cool. And then along with, you know, other little stuff, maybe some little stands. And I know you can buy all of this stuff too, but it's more expensive, I feel. And it's you lose the thrill of actually just kind of being able to see it come to life in front of your eyes. So I think that'd be kind of cool. And it's a hobby. So it's just another extra add-on to the omgrc.com, or at least on the YouTube channel, just to kind of, it's like, hey, if you guys want to, if once I get a 3D printer, hey, you want to see some videos of it, that'd be cool as well. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about all of this stuff. But I definitely appreciate all the input for sure. And don't forget to click that notification bell and also obviously click that subscribe button so that way uh, you're notified when we go live and also when we post our next video. But until next time, appreciate you guys watching and uh, don't forget to share this with your friends and I'll catch you on the next video real soon. You guys take care, peace.